Hello YouTube, James here once again, and today I'm here for part two of our ultimate phones test. Now we've got six of the best phones you can buy right now. The iPhone 6S, the Samsung Galaxy S7, the HTC 10, the Huawei P9, the LG G5, and the Sony Xperia Z5. We've taken all these phones out, we've done speed tests with them, we're gonna have a battery test later this week, but today we are here for the camera test. So let's have a look and see what results we've got from each of these six cameras. Now we want to keep this test as fair as possible, so we've used auto mode on each of these cameras. Let's kick things off with the Sony Xperia Z5. Now this is one of the oldest phones we've got in this test. It has a 23 megapixel camera, the highest megapixel count for any of the photos you're gonna see in this test. Uh, the quality looks quite good here. You're getting a really good resolution. Now the HTC 10 is one of the newest phones in this test. It has one of the widest apertures as well, only just being beaten by the Galaxy S7. This photo is looking really vibrant. Even though the clouds have got darker compared to the Sony Xperia Z5 we were just looking at, it looks really vibrant and the detail is also great. Now the Huawei P9 is one of the more interesting camera options we have in this test. It has two 12 megapixel sensors working in tandem, one RGB and one monochrome. Now personally I find this image a little bit duller, there's not as much light coming into the sensor here, but the detail is still coming out really well. Now for the iPhone 6S. Now this features a 12 megapixel sensor and compared to the Huawei it's definitely a lot brighter. The lighting may have changed a little bit here, it's kind of difficult when the sun keeps coming in and out, but it's a much more vibrant image and personally I think it's a lot better than what you get on the Huawei. Now for the LG G5. Now this is a really bright image again, it's got the same aperture as the HTC 10, but I think you're getting really good detail here and I'm actually really impressed by this image. And we couldn't not play with the wide angle lens on the LG G5, it's one of the big highlights of this camera and it's come out great. And finally we have the Galaxy S7. Now this has the widest aperture of all the cameras we're testing today, but it's definitely not the brightest. Saying that, the detail on the glass looks fantastic. So now let's compare all the photos together. The Huawei P9 and the Z5 personally I think look quite dull and the Galaxy S7 isn't much better than that. But the LG G5, the iPhone and the HTC look really bright. They look like really vibrant images and I think most people will be impressed with the shots you're gonna get from all three of those phones. But that said, this is us really picking up on small little details here. All of these photos do look great. You're gonna get a good image no matter what. Now let's have a look at our close-up shot. Now we've taken R2D2 and Thor here. We're gonna take a photo with each of these cameras and see which one does well up close and personal. First up is the iPhone. Now I'm a little bit disappointed with this image personally. I think it's a little bit too dark. The detail is still coming out okay, but it's not great. And now for the HTC 10, which is largely similar to the iPhone. It's still quite dark, but you're getting a little bit of better detail, I think personally, especially around Thor's helmet. Now for the Huawei P9, and again, the issue here is the overexposure. If you look at R2D2's head, it's not getting much detail there. There's a bit too much light coming into this image. The LG G5 is quite similar to the Huawei P9. I think you're getting a bit more detail here though. If you look at R2D2's head, you're definitely picking up a lot more of the detail there. This is personally one of my favorite images from this close-up test. Now we have the Samsung Galaxy S7. Now this is definitely the best image personally, I think, from this camera. Uh, the detail around Thor is fantastic and the lighting is working out really well. And the Xperia Z5 is again a little bit disappointing here. You're not getting much detail around Thor. It looks very soft. Looking at all these phones together, the Samsung Galaxy S7 really stands out here. The Huawei P9 and the Xperia Z5 both look kind of naff, uh, while the HTC and the iPhone again look quite dark. The HTC and the LG G5 are both getting good detail as well, but as I've already said, the Samsung Galaxy S7 runs away in this test. Now let's have a look at the selfie cameras on each of these phones. Now the iPhone comes with a five megapixel front-facing camera, and you're getting some good detail here. The lighting's pretty nice. It looks like quite a natural image. If you look around the beard area on the iPhone, you're getting some really good detail around there. The HTC also has a five megapixel front-facing sensor, but here it's quite overexposed. You're getting a lot of light in here, and it doesn't look as natural. The same can't be said for the Huawei P9 though, you're getting a really natural image here. Some may think it looks a little bit dull, but there's some really good detail, especially around the beard area. The photo from the LG G5 looks a little distorted, I think it kind of looks like it's got a beauty mode on, but this is the auto mode, so it shouldn't. The Galaxy S7 selfie camera, however, feels really natural, there's lots of colour in this image, and the detail is great. Finally, the Xperia Z5, which I find quite dull, it's very soft on the skin, and some of the colours are a little bit wrong when you compare it to the S7 and the LG G5 here. We also did the test in low light conditions to try and see how the cameras coped with darkness. First up is the iPhone, and this is the darkest image out of all of the ones we took here. The HTC 10 had a similar picture. It's a little bit lighter, and there's probably a bit more detail, especially if you look around the Parappa's hat. 
The Huawei really struggled with this shot. The P9 is really struggling to focus on the soft toy that we've got in the image. It's still quite light though, I'm quite impressed by that, but the focus is just all off. Here's the photo from the LG G5. I personally think the colours are quite wrong here. The orange is very overcompensated when you compare it to the other images. The Galaxy S7 looks the nicest from a distance. When you start to study it after a while, you notice that it's quite soft on some of the edges, but this is one of the only pictures we took with minimal noise. And finally, we have the Sony Xperia Z5. Again, this image is quite soft. There's quite a bit of noise on the left-hand side of Parappa's hat. I'm quite disappointed with this, to be honest. So if you look at all these pictures together and concentrate on his hat, you can really tell the colors are all different in each of the pictures, especially within the Galaxy S7. The iPhone is quite dark, but it's one of the more natural looking images. The Huawei really struggled to focus on this image and the Z5 is just very dull. And now we're gonna test out the video on each of these cameras. First up is the iPhone and this has come out great. It's a very natural looking image and the water especially looks great. The HTC is much the same. It's a really good image. The quality is fantastic. You're getting a lot of detail here. The Huawei has quite poor detail and as you can tell from this clip, it's a little bit shaky. The LG G5 loses a lot of its detail when you're filming in the video mode. There's a weird contrast issue here as well and I don't think it's the best for video. The video mode on the Galaxy S7 has really good quality. And finally, the Xperia Z5 is very overexposed. If you look at the tents at the back of the image, there's not really that much colour there. It's really struggling with the video mode. Now we're going to try out the video mode on the selfie cameras on each of these phones. I'm using the selfie camera on the iPhone 6S. I'm using the selfie camera on the HTC 10. I'm using the selfie camera on the Huawei P9. I'm using the selfie camera on the LG G5. I'm using the selfie camera on the Samsung Galaxy S7. I'm using the selfie camera on the Sony Xperia Z5. Now everyone has their own preference when it comes to camera technology, so if you don't agree with some of the conclusions we've come to, be sure to let us know in the comments below. Personally, I think the Galaxy S7 is the best camera here. That 12 megapixel sensor is fantastic most of the time. There are some issues with it, but it's really good in low light and I'm quite impressed by it in all. The thing to take away from this test is that all of these cameras are still pretty good. It's just some of them are a little bit better than the others. I really like the iPhone 6S camera as well. In auto mode, it's really easy to get a good image. Both Sony and Huawei claim that they have two of the best cameras on the market right now, but I don't think the Z5 or the P9 are anywhere in that kind of area of the S7 and the 6S. If you want to see our battery test of these six phones, be sure to check back in the next couple of days. Plus, we also have the link to our speed test video as well, so you can see if these phones are really up to scratch. Be sure to tell us what you think is the best camera down in the comments below. Thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you again soon.